Hello, dear friends. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, my Kavanaugh video. It went... That's my the video. I, I figured it would be the case. They got like a ton. Well, a ton compared to what other views I have on my... On my channel. Got a ton of views, right? I figured that might be the case. Little click, little clickbait title there for you. Now, a lot of you, I got lots of hateful comments. So I think I only got one. Well, I don't know that they're hateful. Some of them were. A lot of them were just fearful and uh, think I'm some kind of uh, agent of deception working for the dark one or some shit. <laughs> yeah, no, no, that's not me. But, uh, yeah, so I gave the, I put out that prediction, right? That clickbait title on purpose, of course. Uh, and now a lot of you, a lot of you be like, oh, well, you're a false prophet. Well, you know what? I never claimed to be a prophet. Never did. Never. I don't claim to be one now. I never claimed to be a guru. I never claimed to be a teacher. I'm not your master. I'm not your leader. I'm not a leader. Don't want to be a leader. I am a leader, a follower, both. I am my own follower and I am my own leader. And no one else shall lead me. That's my path. No preacher will tell me how to, I should acknowledge God. That's my path. You see? And <laughs> back to the Kavanaugh videos. <laughs> It's really amusing to me. It surely, it truly is. It's, I've been getting the shits and giggles all week. Uh, these fundamentalists chiming in, and God bless them. They need, they need Jesus in a way that they don't understand yet. Um, and uh, the Magdalena energy is going to awaken in the world, and they're going to be befuddled. So, uh. Yeah, the video. <laughs> false prophet, false prophet. I'm not a prophet, B. Chill out. I'm a normal man. I'm a human being. A normal person, just like everybody else. Just like everybody else. Okay? Now, I do my meditations. I do my guided meditations. And I get impressions. And then I report on the impressions. Sometimes I just come out and make a video like I did that Kavanaugh video. Mostly I put it in poetry. And you got to fish it out. But, uh, because that is the way that it has been for centuries. But, um, you know, the Kavanaugh video, I was, that was for real. Like, I normally don't have dreams like that where you could say, ooh, that could be prophetic. Right? And there's a long history of people having prophetic dreams. Maybe it was just a dream. I don't know. Maybe it was just a dream. Maybe it was just wishful thinking. Could have been. I don't know. It's not really important to me. But um, in my meditation, I saw three possible timelines. The end of the October timeline was the least likely. And of course, this could all be in my head, right? This could all be my imagination. This could all be my imagination. I'm not a delusional person. Uh, I, I study psychology. I'm a sociologist. I'm getting my master's in psychology. I'm not a delusional person. Uh, if I was delusional, I would come on here and say, I am absolutely right and everything else is bullshit. I, I, I don't know. What do I know? What do you know? What do any of us know, right? These are just my impressions. They are impressions. That's all. But back, anyway, and I'm rambling again. Uh, but the, the least likely timeline I saw in meditation was that October. It was 30%. That's what I saw. 30% chance that he'll be gone by the end of October. The other two timelines I didn't mention. Because I'm an optimist. You see? You, you wish for good things. You wish for the higher good. You wish for... You pray for the outcome that would uh, cause the least suffering. 
You pray for the outcome that gives ease the quickest, you see. And that's what I did. That's why I just said that one unlikely timeline, the 30%. The other two timelines I saw, the most likely timeline, of course, is logical. You know, a lot of these people who claim to be psychics or whatever, they get on here and they'll like make some outlandish shit, like compl- claims. And that's one. That's the reason I made said the thirty percent chance, and then not the rest. One of the reasons: one, because I'm an optimist, and two, because I, you know, shoot for this moon. And uh, because I, another reason is why I wanted that's the all. That's what I wanted to put out into the ether. You understand? And. Uh, the most likely timeline, which is, I'm almost, and given my impressions and my interpretations, of course I could be wrong. Uh, the most likely timeline is certainly after midterms. I see the ball rolling three months after midterms. Three months after mid, minimum probably. Could be wrong. Uh, three months after midterms, I think they are going all in on Trump. And everyone around him. And everyone that's connected to him. All in. Like batting down the hatches. Poseidon's on a mission. Turn it up to 11. This is perfect circle. Not perfect circle. That's from a post for song. The indigo children. Their energy is rising. And uh, the crystalline children are being prepared. And, um, so, you know, you you can't fight the universe. Stop trying to ice skate uphill, as I like to say. (laughs) See, I'm a Hollywood, uh, movie, not a Hollywood, but just a movie buff. I used to want to be a filmmaker. And one day I'll come back to it and I'll make a film. So, like, there's this film called L.A. Story. And Steve Martin has a line on that, and he's like, all the great mysteries of life are answered in the movies. And that sounds like some stupid bullshit, right? But there's a lot of truth to that. There's a lot I I glean a lot of cool, interesting things just from film and not and books, right? Anyway, that saying is from the movie Blade. <laughs> some motherfuckers are always trying to ice skate uphill. <laughs> and not exactly, you know. Slaughterhouse Five of the Last Temptation of Christ, kind of deep movie, but uh, which are two of my absolute favorite movies, by the way. Slaughterhouse Five. It's not a horror movie. It's a Kurt Vonnegut Jr. movie, and I, I love that movie. So it's, it's probably my favorite movie, Slaughterhouse Five. You should go check it out. That and the Hunger. Anyway, I'm rambling, but yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm an optimist. So, but yeah, I think the most likely timeline is two, three months, three months after the midterms. But then there's another timeline too that's least less likely, and that will be around Christmas. I don't think there's any way. I think Christmas is like that third timeline. The longer it drags out, the stronger it is. The sooner Trump steps aside, the better off he'll be. Because he's just digging his hole deeper and deeper and deeper each day. Um, he'll never get out of that hole. Never. Ever. <laughs> um, and um, so the longer it goes on, the the worse it'll get for him. And so if it stretches out to that least likely timeline all the way out to Christmas... If it does that, then I think they'll hold it over through Christmas and New Year's. And then at the first of the year, boom, like that. It'll it'll be, you know, chopping block time. Because I can't, if if it goes all the way to Christmas, I can't see them doing anything over the holidays. They're just kind of stewing in their own demise for that period. And then they, when they come back, they, uh... They're like, okay, it's got to be done. The tumor has to be removed. It's kind of their attitude. But, yeah, anyway. 
I did it on purpose. I was trying to make a point. And I see a lot of you going to be, oh, you're making excuses. It's all bullshit. You're just a bullshit liar. If that's what you want to believe, if that's what your discernment tells you, then, you know, you should probably go with that and stop watching my channel. So, whatever. No skin off my nose, B. You do you, boo, as Anna Kasparian says. But, no, no. He's like, oh, you probably feel like a big fool. No, I don't feel like a fool. I, I knew it was not supposed, not likely to happen. Like, I just did it anyway. Because why not shoot for the moon, right, baby? Yeah. I got no time to waste on the mic. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, am I devastated? Do I feel like a fool? Of course not. And I, I knew this was the likely outcome. So, you know. And I mean, really, do you honestly think they're going to let this man actually, like, make any big moves at this point. Have you watched him talk? He's dumber than shit, and he's losing his mind. And he is. I, I don't care what anybody says. I've studied psychology. I've con I have conferred with psychologists on this issue. High-level, multiple degrees on the wall psychologists. Okay? And there's already 500 came out and said it. They wrote a freaking book about it, for Christ's sake. The man is a malignant narcissist. That is the worst, most dangerous personality type. That's what the Republican Party has given us these days. So all you Christians, you still think Trump's your man? I feel really sorry for you. I really do. It should have been so obvious. Walks like a duck, quacks like a duck. It's a bloody duck. Unless God works in mysterious ways. You think God's going to take Trump? Work through Trump? You're fucking delusional. Anyway. That's about all I got to say about it, I guess. I'm sure I piss people off. Some people, fundamentalists. You do you, boo. Uh, but, <laughs> I don't know. What, 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 what can you say? Young souls, I don't know. All right. Take her easy, gang, and uh, keep the faith. Because uh, goddess energy is in control now. And, um, yeah. Dark hearts are going to suffer for their uh, for their sins, unfortunately. It's going to be a time of instant karma, as John Lennon used to sing about. More so, you know. It's never, very rarely actually instant. But, yeah, this is the time of sowing now. We are sowing. We're not sowing. <laughs> we have been sowing. This is the time of reaping. The chickens are coming home to roost, as Malcolm X said. So, don't want to put out a lot of hateful energy because it'll come back on you with, with a viciousness, with a vengeance. It's not good. Bad mojo. Anyway, I'll quit rambling. <laughs> I'm not sure if this, uh, I'm sure, you know, people will probably, whatever, believe whatever you want to believe. Free will, right? I'm not here to change your mind. I'm here to share what I think. That's it. Okay. Bye-bye.